in order to be able to tell where the law of diminishing returns sets in first we must make sure that we understand the concept of marginal products how to interpret the numbers that we have on the column of the marginal product the first number we have is four four means that when we look at our initial level of labor we have zero worker and then we have one worker so this means when the amount of labor increases by one the total output increases by four which makes sense because zero worker can only produce zero unit of output but once we have only one worker the one worker will produce four so which means the one worker is giving us an addition of four but when we introduce another worker which means we have two workers the total level of output increased to 10. initially when we had one worker one worker was producing four but when the new guy comes our total product increases to 10 that means the new guy is affecting the production by giving us additional six units of output 